Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel and in this video, I'm going to be doing a versus video between the Puma RS Dreamer and the Puma Clyde Hardwood. So uh, the Clyde Hardwood is going for 120 bucks, and if you add $5 more, the RS Dreamer is going for 125 bucks. The Clyde Hardwood is kind of like their team basketball shoe. I mean, like most of their uh, players were wearing this. Uh, the RS Streamer is J. Cole's signature shoe, and I guess everyone's just wearing this now <laughs> since it's a newer shoe, right? Uh, so if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. Uh, the RS Streamer is currently sold out, but if they are available, I'll try to leave a link in the description box. But let's get to start off with the traction. So I've been playing with the Puma Clyde Hardwood Outdoors, and it actually has a very, very good bite, just like the RS Streamer. You know, a great bite. It did slide out just a little bit though, uh, when I was doing really hard movements, the RS Streamer, I absolutely had no issues ever. Um, and as far as the durability goes, I mean, the RS Streamer is really, really good. You have crazy hard rubber, deep, thick grooves. I had a little bit of fraying off uh, just where like the ball of your foot is, uh, but that's just a super high wear area and they thinned up the grooves here for some reason. Uh, but it's not a huge deal overall super good durability the client hardwood here where the ball of your foot is the rubber is super hard But for most of the outsole, it's like a thinner herringbone traction pattern It doesn't look like there's crazy wear But definitely is not as durable as the RS streamer and there It's just fraying off just a little bit for the client hardwood So the RS streamer is a little bit better for the outsole as far as the heel to toe transition goes uh, They're both pretty smooth I would say the RS streamer is a little bit smoother because you have a more pronounced like a uh, curve here in the heel as well as in the forefoot the r streamer is a little little bit more flat you know it was still pretty smooth but just not as smooth as the r streamer as far as the forefoot flex goes uh the uh clyde hardwood flexes a lot easier than the r streamer look at that i have to put a little bit more force on the r streamer so it all depends on what you like if you like to have a little bit more flex in the forefoot the clyde hardwood is a little bit better if you like to have a little bit more of that rocking motion because of the shape uh, go with the RS Streamer. All right, moving on to the cushioning system. Uh, they're both pretty ass. They're not very nice. I mean, court feel is pretty damn good. And they're both very responsive cushionings. But like the Pro Foam here in the Clyde Hardwood is kind of nice. You know, you get a little bit of underfoot sensation. It's just a little soft. The RS Streamer, uh, not really. I guess the insole helps with the underfoot cushioning. But uh, for the most part, you're really not going to get a whole lot from the cushioning setup. Like no compression and no bounce. And as you guys can see, the Clyde Hardwood is crazy caged. I don't know why they cage it up so much, but you know, that's just how it is. So, I mean, I would say they pretty much feel the same. I would tie it up. And impact protection is pretty trash in the RS Streamer. I was playing on outdoor court, so uh, my feet hurt actually uh, when I was playing in this. The Clyde Hardwood, it didn't hurt as much though. So maybe the impact protection is a little bit better in the Clyde Hardwood. But like when you're playing around in it, it feel, they both feel pretty similar. Also, another thing I forgot to mention is the outsole curvature. There is a little bit of an outsole curvature in both of the shoes. I would say it's a little bit more pronounced in the RS Streamer. But one good thing about both of the shoes though is that uh, you have a lot of rubber here in the medial side. So if you do these types of movements, you have a little bit of extra grip, you know, so you don't slide out or anything. And you also get that with the RS Streamer. All right, moving on to the upper, obviously the Clyde Hardwood is way better. Uh, the RS Dreamer, I mean, it's just not as nice. The RS Dreamer is a little bit thinner though. So if you want the overall more minimal upper and thinner upper, then go with the RS Dreamer. But I mean, the Clyde Hardwood, this knit material in the forefoot and midfoot area is just so nice. Then in my opinion, I would still pick the Clyde Hardwood over the RS Dreamer. And also you get like pretty nice leather material here in the in the ankle area as well. I mean, that really doesn't matter. I don't really care all too much about it, but you know, it's pretty nice quality. And the Clyde Hardwood feels cozier and all that. Uh, as far as the tongue goes, the tongue is pretty much the same. They're both, uh, there's a little bit of padding and in the ankle area, I would say the padding is pretty much the same as well. So for the materials, I would go with the Clyde Hardwood. All right, as for support and lockdown, they're both incredible. I had no issues with lateral containment. You know, you guys, as you guys can see on the lateral side, you have a lot of lateral counters there. So no issues with either of the shoes. Lateral stability is also good. I mean, they both have low wide bases and a pretty flat here as well. Obviously they're both low, so you're not gonna get any type of ankle support, but uh, like I said, the lateral stability is good. So you really don't have to worry about uh, rolling your ankle or anything. All right, moving on to the weight. The Clyde Hardwood is coming in at like 14. You have 14.53 ounces. 
and the RS Dreamer was also pretty damn heavy at 14.57 ounces, so pretty much the same weight, which is insane. I thought the Clyde Hardwood was gonna be a little bit heavier because of like the caging and all that and the thicker materials, but the RS Dreamer also like, you guys see this? So the weight is pretty much the same. They both feel a little bit heavier on foot, but the RS Dreamer definitely feels a lot bulkier. If you guys wanna see how much longer the RS Dreamer is, like look at that. You guys see how much it like protrudes out and stuff? So uh, like this midsole, I don't like, it feels like chunky here in the heel area. It feels a little bit bulky and stuff. Uh, the Clyde Hardwood is more streamlined. You know, it's more like just on your foot. You don't really have to worry about it being like bulky or anything. So uh, that's why I like the Puma Clyde Hardwood a little bit better there. And as far as the ventilation goes, yeah, they're both super freaking hot. So uh, <laughs> uh, just watch out for that. There's really no airflow or anything through this material. Uh, there's no ventilation holes or anything really at all. So uh, yeah, your feet are gonna be super hot in both of the shoes. As far as the aesthetics go, ooh, I don't know guys. I'll probably say I like the RS Dreamer just a little bit more, but the Clyde Hardwood is still a great looking shoe. And also another thing is you can definitely rock these off court as well as obviously play with them on court, right? So tell us what you guys think looks better down in the comment section below. Uh, moving on to the fit, uh, I went true to size for the Clyde Hardwood and I feel like the Clyde Hardwood feel, uh, fits me a little bit better. You know, so lengthwise, it was good. As far as the toe space, it was pretty damn snug. It felt great. Widthwise, slightly narrow and uh, super easy to put the shoe on as well. So uh, the fit in the Clyde Hardwood was a little bit better. The RS Dreamer for me, it ran a little long, not a huge deal. And also there's a little bit of toe space. You know, it wasn't a huge deal or anything, but just a little bit more than the Clyde Hardwood. And widthwise, I would say they're around the same. So uh, the Clyde Hardwood just fit me better. Obviously, if you want like, a little bit roomier of a fit, the RS Dreamer is better. But if you want um, the more snug fit, especially with this knit material, it's just like kind of like being snug on your foot feels great, then go with the Clyde Hardwood. All right, wrapping things up, obviously I would pick the Clyde Hardwood, right? The traction is uh, uh, better in the RS Dreamer, but just by a little bit. Cushioning, they're both in, eh. uh, but the material is so much better in the Clyde Hardwood and also feels less bulky. Don't get me wrong, the RS Streamer is still pretty damn nice. I mean, the material quality is still nice, but it's just not as nice as this. And like I keep saying, I don't like this all too much, but I'm sure there's people that don't really mind that all too much. Uh, it's not a huge deal, but uh, it's just like little minor things that make me like the Clyde Hardwood a little bit better. And also it's $5 cheaper, right? <laughs> so uh, that kind of helps it as well. So uh, yeah, I would say go with the Clyde Hardwood. I, I feel like this is the overall better performer, but the RS Streamer is still nice. If you do get it, you'll be getting a good performer as well. So yeah, that about wraps up this versus video. Again, if you guys want to cop, I'll try to leave links below, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.